What's up, everybody? Jay from Leprechaun TV here, and we have another night of the hot seat. And this week's guest, we got Cooking with Schmidt from YouTube. What's up, everyone? And, and uh, we he's also um, real big on Facebook in the groups. Um, he has a, a stamp of approval. That's the Schmidt. Uh, and he always runs around with Schmidt happens. <laughs> and uh he's also known for for one of his uh drinks but we'll get into that in a minute uh uh why don't you tell the people uh, a little bit about yourself where you're from where you was born where you live what you do for a living you know work for the kgb whatever it is you do yeah um so i am um i'm steve schmidt you know cooking outside with the schmidt um i actually uh i'm in florida um loving it down here besides the heat but uh yeah i'm just doing my thing i was uh originally from virginia and kind of transplanted down here and yeah yeah uh, how long you been down there i've been down here for 10 years now Man. 11 11 years what what part is that uh naples okay all the way down <laughs> yeah so you're you're by my buddy uh cooking with big cat 305 he's 305 area code so that's uh miami right um i'm not sure why's uh, sure. that yeah it I, I believe it's close i'm i'm not too sure i haven't been down that far <laughs> i've been to panama city florida that's where i've been from yeah nice, nice. you know coming up from north uh, ain't much south <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already got a question uh hey look squirrel Wants to know how you like my shirt, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pretty cool, huh? I feel like I'm from Florida right now. Yeah, you got a little Florida going on with you. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, There's nothing hey. special. It just shows my beard a little better. Sally, that girl in the kitchen, uh, new channel I'm following. Uh, nice. Looks looks very promising. Uh, she's from Miami. Oh, oh, nice. Hey, you're... you're, yeah. you're uh, your your oh, fellow Floridians. <laughs> hey Jess. Jess, what's going on? What's going on, we got Jess? Gina? Yeah, yeah. Coast to coast griddlers in the house. Thank you. Thank you so much. Coast yes. To coast. We got uh Hashtag coast to coast griddlers. <clears throat> we got uh square table degenerates in the house. What is up? Joey Edibles, what is up? We got Mr. McCourt, good old Mike, big Mike Hi. in the house. Keith Vest shirt, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, it is a, it is. I, I went, I went, uh, I went to the mall, man, and got this, man. Pretty cool, that's, man. Dude, that's awesome. I, yeah. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm totally digging it. Uh -huh. Oh, we got some beard fans. Ah, oh, that's and, Trish. <laughs> man, you, you beat me to it, man. Oh, but we'll still go. <laughs> I was thirsty. So, you know, you know me, I'm Cody. One <laughs> thousands uh, in the house. Carla's in the house. We got a good crowd showing out tonight, man. Thank you guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. Freedom Grillers. Yes. Chadio never had a beard, but he said he shaved one one time. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I am not shaving mine. No, me neither. Uh, it's with me. It's part. Now it's part of the the image, you know. Yeah, it's totally my image now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, we want to know what everybody else is drinking in the crowd. My friend here has a special drink for when he's griddling, and uh, I'm gonna play a little video, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Oh, there it is. What can it be, guys? What can it be? Jimmy Q in the house. All right. Oh, God, that beard is hideous. <laughs> Here we go. Another video. It's a short one this time. Um, you know, it's it's cooking, and it's raining, and I'll be doing a cook here in a minute, making some smash burgers. But I'm never dying my beard again. Right now, what I'm doing is my grill my grill juice is what I use 
to lube me up while I'm cooking, you know, keep me oiled, as you would say. So I'll uh, do a little video. It's simple, but you get a lot of people saying, what's your griddle juice? What do you use? Well, griddle juice is, you know, your choice of drink, whatever it is you want to drink. Me, I do Red Bull and Jaeger. That's, that's what I drink. I don't drink nothing else. That's all I drink. So I'm going to show you how I make it. my griddle juice. So what I'm doing here is we got right there. Man, this was an old video. So, yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Right. That's a Jager bomb, which is a little thing of this, little thing of no, no. I need a drink. So Thursday. Put the Red Bull in. What's up? What's up, Chef? Boom. Now, I'm always drinking out of a Yeti, but I got different glasses that I use. So I know that I need two shots of Jaeger in this. But I got the shot glass. But I took a diamond engraver and made a line. See, so that's. I know. I just got to fill the Jaeger up to that line. That, that's smart. Which is equivalent to two shots. But. I'll do the two shots just to show you. God, John, All what's right. going on, buddy? Roughly. That looks good. We go two. Rough. Oop, that one might be a little high. A little, a little heavy on that one, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. It happens. So, look, here we go. Oh, right down here. So, there's our line. So, that one was a little steep. So, yeah, that's my Yager class. I have a couple other glasses that are all lined up perfectly on making my mixtures, but that's it. Oh, so that's my grill juice. So yeah. that's my old tripod. Right. Needed some Earl right, on that one. Mm -hmm. It needed some griddle juice. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's my griddle juice guy. Simple, effective. Um, so what are you guys drinking? What do you guys drink? You know, what's your grill juice? Mm -hmm. Share. I, I like to hear it, you know. But uh, also hit that subscribe down there. Like. You know, <laughs> yeah. The host right? blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotta throw it in there, you know. All right. Crazy. So. That's great. That's great. So for my buddy tonight. Ah, no shit. <laughs> I'm rocking the griddle juice shirt. That's funny. And oh, you did. Ah. <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding. ding, ding. <laughs> oh, that's great right there. That's awesome. <laughs> so this is going to be a sipper, obviously. <laughs> so I got grabbed the 20 ounce. Was I was I or, or the 12 ounce? Was I wrong on that? 12, 12 ounce gets three shots. Oh, three shots? Yeah. For the so proper it gets, equation. So it gets uh, one, two, three? Sure. All right. There sure. it is. Oh, shit. I seen it. That's what's up. <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding. Cheers. <laughs> oh, my God. Flashback 20 years just went right, right across. <laughs> I should I should have put the griddle juice up higher, <laughs> or shouldn't have got the V neck one or the other. <laughs> you can barely see it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I love it. Uh, yes, the, I you, I put it in the freezer juice. for the, you for the last wrong. hour. You spelled juice wrong. Did I? No, I'm just kidding. Dad, you had me there for a minute. I was about to throw off the shirt, like, yeah, well, um. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Maria's World, what is up? I seen you. Where were you? Where'd you go? I seen you. All the way from Oakland, California. Nice. BFB's here. We got Patricia Snyder, Sally. Thanks for joining. Um, 
for all those out there, uh, another great channel, cooking channel. You know, this is this is what we do. This is how we network. This is how we meet people. Um, not not a lot of people are familiar. There's a lot of new f faces in the griddle nation. Uh, we got Scott Price. Met him. Uh, yeah, so there's new groups uh, coming about, new hashtags coming about, Coast to Coast Griddlers. That's a big one right now. Um, so so obviously, um, you cook on a Blackstone. I do. Uh, I do. So uh, tell us what uh, – tell us which ones you have. Well, right now I have the 22 Adventure Ready. And I got the 36 inch air fryer. And that's it. That's it for now. Yeah. Yeah. The, I missed out on the E series right. 22 inch. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll have to catch that on the next round. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Yeah. Um, now, they, yeah they I mean, air fryer sick. Just saying. Yeah. They, uh, they, uh, saying that you can only get it online now that's what i heard that's what i heard I, mm -hmm. I i could be wrong but that's what i heard yes and so it's sold out yeah which we probably already knew that was gonna that, happen yeah yeah that was gonna happen yeah. so many people were waiting for that like me yeah yeah we're a all lot of people a lot of people passed up to 17 inches on shelves yeah uh, that's what i did to to wait for this 22 inch and uh yeah boof gone <laughs> yep, yep. that's just like the um the uh tractor supply 36 inch uh air fryer with the led knobs yeah that, uh, mike mccord has yeah that thing looks that thing looks sexy mm -hmm. i mean that looks sexy yeah yep yeah i i would I have one near me. I should probably go check it, but yeah. uh, see if they have it. That'd be a cool one to have. I just want the knobs, <laughs> the LED. Go, knobs. Right? <laughs> hey, I, I'll turn the gas off and just turn the uh, the the knobs on just to take cool pictures. You know, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Mike says it's beyond sexy. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, the Griddle Nation's growing. Um, a lot of us have went to uh, see Todd on the Griddle More tour. Um, yeah. Fortunately, he didn't make it down to you guys. We we talked about the other the other hot states, like coming there in the winter time, going there in the winter time. Right. You know. Uh, but uh, we'll see what. Uh, We'll see what uh, 2022 brings. You know? Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping uh, to get to go see him at somewhere, wherever. Like, you hope he gets a little closer because, I mean, I'll make a weekend of it and go to Georgia. I don't care. Well, I couldn't this year if he did. Yeah. Maybe next year. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin's in the house. What is up, man? I hope you're uh, healing up okay. I uh, hope you enjoy or doing good. Um, uh, can't wait to see you back in, in the groove of things. I, I see you got a couple videos out here and there. Um, so, so one of the hot seat questions of the past was, uh, Mr. Meg, Mega Fred Zeppelin always had a staple question, you know, what's your favorite band? What, 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 uh, what do you listen to? So uh, I, I listen to, I mean, a lot of everything. Yeah. I, I listen to, I mean, there's really nothing I don't like, mm -hmm. um, but I grew up listening to hip hop and rap, and that just kind of stuck to me. I mean, rap ain't what it used to be, right? Or, but I'm a huge Eminem fan. Huge. Oh, yeah. Eminem fan. I've been following him since day one. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Um, not a not a bad no. not a bad guy to follow <laughs> for sure. You know what I mean? Uh huh. I, I uh, actually just the other night, that's funny you say that, just the other night, uh, Mrs. Lepp was playing YouTube music on, on the TV. And, uh, you know, she's got control. So, so it's her playlist she's going through. Right. And, and then uh, 
she's like, do you want to hear something? I said, you're not going to want to listen to what I want to listen to. And she goes, come on, one song. Uh, I, I said, you passed it already. She goes, so she goes back and it's the uh, eight mile rap battle. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> with Eminem. And that, yeah. I, I, I love it. That's a classic. I love that movie. No way, man. I got I I got burnt uh, when I went to go see Todd on the Griddle Moore tour. I, I caught some sun, especially my especially my driving my left arm. <laughs> hang out, you know. know? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. So my left arm is peeling now. <laughs> Two weeks later. Yes. Two weeks later. What's up? We got Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie's in the house. Uh, trucker arm. Yes. Yes. Trucker arm for sure. Um, cooking with the crazy pop. What's up, Butch? Daniel cooking with country. Right. Isn't that his channel? I believe so. Right. I think. I don't know. Cooking with Country, that's Daniel, I believe. I've seen her and Jess talking. Griddle, griddle to uh, Coast to Coast Griddlers. I see his um his Instagram. Yes, that's correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. I thought I heard yeah. him say it on, on one of the live streams one time. I had to go look. There are so many mm -hmm. followers and stuff now that I'm trying to keep up with. It's hard. Yeah, right. And then I'm, I'm oh, following so many more people now. It's just, it's hard. Yeah. Hey, it's I, hard. I, to... I just call it Daniel Daniel. Daniel Daniel. <laughs> hey, what's up, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, what do you have any other cooking apparatuses? Um, yes, actually, I have quite a few. Um, I have a, a you know, you're gas grill I got a charcoal grill I got a charcoal smoker I got a pellet smoker I got the deep fryer uh, what else I got and then a separate air fryer and a couple other utensils mm -hmm. uh, but Blackstone is what I mainly cook on um, just because I'm I enjoy it and it's it's fun to cook on you know what I mean yeah I, I yeah, I can set a, a pork butt in the smoker and let it sit for 16 hours. And yes, it comes out delicious. But the whole controlling everything on the Blackstone, I enjoy that. So mm -hmm. Blackstone is definitely my preferred apparatus to cook on. Right. I just said apparatus. That was cool. That's what I call them, you know. <laughs> the other backyard tools. Uh, right, yeah. Whatever, you know. All right, so for a lot of everybody that don't know, you cook live on Facebook a lot, and you're trying to figure out how to stream from uh, Facebook and YouTube at the same time, so it'll go on both of your uh, platforms. Yeah, I, I, and, I bought some software to do that, and I'm learning how to do that. Yeah, for sure. Um yeah, we're like last night we were we were going over things. We we actually worked through some problems, guys, and and it took us an hour to figure it all out. But we're we're here. We're we're good. Um, he looks good. I look good. The beards are on fleek. Uh, yes. You know, we got uh, Dorito saying he needs to, he wants to grow one one uh, grow one now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So so cooking live. A lot of people aren't made to do it. Um, it is a special kind of skill and courage for one because you have a chance to mess up oh, or yeah. or do the walk of shame you know always i always forget something and they're done that yep. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so my thing is is for you what what's your confidence builder when you when you're firing that 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 griddle up and you hit record on that camera what 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 makes what fuels you <laughs> <coughs> all 
It's it's the griddle <laughs> juice. So the griddle juice lubes everything up. All right. Yep, okay. It lubes it up. It gets everything just right and it just flows. <laughs> so no, um, when I started doing lives, um, it was not easy at all. It was not. And I've learned along the way. Um, I go through my recipes and my product uh, ingredients like several times over to make sure I don't miss something because you're out on the griddle. You don't have time to run back to the house and grab something, come back. Um, which I've had to do because I messed up, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it definitely takes some practice and a lot of courage because yes. it's, I mean, I ain't going to lie. It's especially when you get, you know, people watching you and you mess up. They just saw that, <laughs> but that's the cool thing about the community. I think is okay. We mess up big deal. You know, we just, we just keep going. And and, and they'll, they'll help you through it if you do need some help. And, yeah, yeah. you know, they'll throw suggestions out. Well, we'll do it this way. You know, it's a just an adapt. Yeah. You know what is. I mean? And that, that you definitely have to have that fight or flight if you're cooking live. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Because you could, you could say, oh, I messed the whole dish up and just scrap it and right. turn the camera off. You know what I mean? And, and throw it away. You know what I mean? Um, but that's that's the business we're in. You know what I mean? Um, we're here to entertain. So even if we mess up, we're going to entertain you through that mess up. That's right. You know, that's you, right. Hey, I don't I don't I don't care who you are. You mess up. <laughs> there is not a cook where you do something wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, forget something. Um, add a little bit too much of something, you know, for great, for, forget an ingredient altogether, you know right. what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, hey? hey, yeah, we're just talking about the walk of shames and uh, adjusting and adapting to live cooking. Uh, well, like I did a uh, a live cook for crunch wraps. Mm -hmm. And I, I did it over on the page I, that I'm a part of, uh, Off the Chain. Yeah. Off the Chain Cooking. Yes. And um, awesome group of people over there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but they did a, a challenge for crunch wraps. Yeah. So I did a live. Every crunch wrap I did, epic failure. Wow. Could not get a crunch wrap to wrap for nothing. <laughs> but it was like, you know, it was just, it was fun. So I'm, I end up, I'm making like some type of square burrito, <laughs> but it was just fun. Just went with it and it, I, it was awesome. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, Scott had asked a while back, uh, what's your favorite thing to cook on a Blackstone? I believe that's what it was. I did see that. Yes. Yeah. My favorite thing. No. I love to make steak and cheese. I'm a huge steak and cheese fan. Mm -hmm. And. I'm I like before I started making them myself, like I do now. Um, I would talk to Trish, which Trish is my, my wife, and I'd be like, Hey, let's go find us a good steak and cheese. And it's hard to find a, a good place to make good steak and cheese in Florida. Um, so now I, I make them at home and I learn different ways from different people. Blackstone Betty was even watching me on one of my lives and was like telling me how to chop the meat up, you know, easier than what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, so just people helping, it was great. But yeah, steak and mm -hmm. cheese is my favorite go-to. Love making them. That's awesome. Um, I don't make them. I don't make them enough. Is is my issue, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, seen something else, Brenda Garrett. Hey, how you doing? Thank you oh, for joining that, in. That's my mother-in-law. <laughs> oh hi. Um, oh Maria was was asking about your crunch wrap. Uh, was it was it burrito size? Was a tortilla burrito size? They were burrito size. I have to say, you have to have at least a ten to fourteen inch tortilla for that to succeed. I would I would actually go with a fourteen. Well, I think the ones I don't even know which ones I had to be honest. I don't remember, but I got yeah. them from the grocery store. They were the yeah. biggest ones they had, and mm -hmm. I think I might have put too much filling in them because I packed them and then flipped them and folded them and had to undo it and redo it and then yeah been there it just didn't look so 
I actually I haven't even attempted a crunch wrap on my. Oh, there you go. Try it. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, I will. Fun. Yeah. Right. Hey, Shannon Haynes, how you doing? Next time I'm gonna use toothpicks. <laughs> oh, what's up, Chad? What's up? Yeah, Scott. Scott was saying steak and cheese is probably his favorite too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there's there's so much. Yeah, I mean, I've made them with steakums. Mm-hmm. I've made them with the ribeye. You know, really thin shaved ribeye. I've done um, uh, burger ones. Ones with burger. Done quite a bunch, different kinds, just trying mm-hmm. different stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Blackstone Betty, of course, she got a question. Uh, let me scroll Ooh, back up. This chat goes by quick, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, cool. Um, yes, actually, I did. I, I love, I've always loved cooking. Um, I try different stuff, cook in the kitchen. Um, I get, you know, uh, air fryers and stuff like that for the kitchen and try cooking and come up with different recipes and me and Trisha go out. I'm like, all right, let's cook something different tonight. And then got the Blackstone, which that's a story in itself. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's uh c- cooking has been part of me for a long time. Now yeah. I'm nowhere near professional, right. but I have fun at it and make some really good food. <laughs> where'd, that, where'd that start from your ma, grandma? Well, Just... my dad was a big cooker. Okay. Um, I mean, he still is, but he did a lot of cooking, and then when I moved out and got married and you know whatnot, I just kind of picked it up and started cooking. It was like, ooh, let's try this. And then it was. Do you good. like to bake? You a baker? Yeah, I mean, I, I can do anything. Yeah. I, I, or I like to do anything. Right. I, say I can do anything, but I like mm-hmm. to bake. I like to everything. Um, mm-hmm. But now that I got you know the blackstone and my grill and my outdoor kitchen, I rarely cook in the kitchen anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, all outside now. <laughs> yeah. Now that I got that E series, maybe I'll start doing some things. Obviously <clears throat> winter winter around here is different, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> I missed out on the twenty two inch. I'm so upset. <laughs> yeah. It happens. One will come around. You'll see one. Yeah. But, uh, we had another question. Who was it here? Um Mega Fred Zeppelin. Do, 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 do. Have you ever had In and Out Burger? I had In and Out Burger once, three years ago when I went out to California. Mm-hmm. Um, it was good. It was totally good. I don't remember it because I only had it once and it was good, but I, it, I don't remember it. But mm-hmm. I did see a thing online not too long ago that I was kind of watching on making it on the Blackstone. So that might be something coming up soon. Oh, look at this guy. He scored himself one, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rub it in. Just rub it in. Hey, oh, thanks. hey, Daniel, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you. We'll see you on the flip side, brother. Have a good one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see him popping up left and right. I'm, And you know what's messed up is I still got my 17-inch in a box. Haven't even done a video of it yet. And, and everybody's coming out with these 22s, so they're already – I already missed the window, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's well, that's me. Good. That's me for you. I got so many ideas of videos and not enough film crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like I, me. I got so many ideas. Yeah, I need a production team. Honestly, never enough time. <laughs> I, if I had a production team where I could just execute the cook and be done with it, oh, I'd have twenty videos a week. If right. I could do that, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. But trying to run the phone and going to the grocery store, getting all the ingredients and, and running through the recipe and how you're going to do this, cleaning the garage, cleaning the area, dragging the grill out if it's nice. You know what I mean? Oh, man. It's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what NFL team do you rock? Do you Do you like sports at all? I do. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, I do. I um, know who it is. I mean, it's I I I like that uh that one football team. What was it? Um, 
that that football team, you know? Yeah, that that football team. Yeah, that football team. Yeah, yeah. that's what I like. Oh, from Washington. Yeah, from Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yes. right. I am a Redskins fan, and they will always be the Redskins. I don't care what they call them, unless they come up with something really cool. But they're always going to be the Redskins. That's cool right there. Yeah, she was saying on her live earlier, she took her 17-inch E-Series to work and cooked for everybody. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cool. That's super cool, Jess. Um, yeah. yeah, here's the thing is he moved to Florida, so he's not from Florida. So, yeah, yeah. Dolphin, Dolphins are, are, are probably not the no-name no. team. I did go to Which, a Dolphins game, though. Yeah. Yeah, and they were playing Washington. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Mike Mike says the no name team. Which uh, when he drove up to Cleveland to to hang out with me, uh, he he uh, we was on a Sunday, you know, and his his wife Christina Chris she she likes the Washington football team too, right? So so she's over there on her phone watching that game. I'm watching the Browns game. And, you know, so so it was two games going on at once, and yeah, it was it was fun. It was fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yep. For sure. Of course, Maria likes the Raiders. Uh, Square table degenerates. Not He's. Bad. Oh, we got another Raider Nation here. Gina, meet Maria. Maria, meet Gina. <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys are friends. Automatically now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're friends now. <laughs> What's up, Dave? That's funny. How you doing, man? Hope all is well, brother. Yeah. Um, so so you know, it we uh around these parts we take football a little more serious than most places. <laughs> Actually, I have a, a, a gig coming up uh before the start of the season with some ex Browns players are going to show up and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's for the food bank. I'm not cooking. Uh, I nominated not to do it. So um, we got a bar that's going to supply the food for us. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Gina is now family. Yes. <laughs> cooking, football, beer. It all goes together, ties in some way, somehow, or drinks, you know what I mean? Not just beer, but, you know, drinks, good times, laughs. <laughs> Bro, my, my mother-in-law trips me out. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're on 10 TVs at once now, right here, <laughs> Brenda says. <laughs> well, I, mean, so, I mean, as you can see here, I got like three TVs here, yeah. a couple yeah. more TVs over here. And I'm, I got 17 TVs in the house, so... I, I watch, always got something playing. And when sports are on, oh, forget it, The man cave is lit. The man right. cave is lit. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a personal tour, guys, uh, of the man cave last night. Uh, <laughs> there, there's some there's some hidden treasures, let's just say, that aren't YouTube friendly. It, <laughs> right? In, in the uh, man cave. <laughs> Nothing illegal. Nothing illegal. No, no, no. That, you know, that spurs my question. Um do you work for the KGB? <laughs> Since I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say no. Is James Bond your idol? No. Um, have you ever seen the Kingsman movies? Yes. How many times? Probably, I think, once each. That explains what I saw last night. <laughs> I thought it was just a regular dresser, but no, not at all. <laughs> no, at all. Like, stick I, around I, for the hey, stick around for the after party after the interview. I'll open up the uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll open it up, and you guys could jump in, and then we'll end it, and and we'll hang out off air. We call it. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the that. after party, and then maybe he'll show you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we we got some good ones. Okay, so so not only is is Mama throwing some questions out. Oh, 
I, I actually I had some I had some fans write me questions too. Um, oh, so let, okay. me go, let, let me go over those real quick. All right, um, we're gonna start right here. All right. Um, I'm to ask you about your dirty meal cook. My what? Okay, it was the one time you dropped all the prep food and had to make something else that we could not eat because it all landed on the floor. So he just cooked dirty food. Obviously, you didn't get it in the five-second rule. I remember that cook. I was making something. Oh, I don't remember what it was. I'll have to go back and look at my archive. Mm -hmm. I was making something. And I think I had to dip it in egg and then cook it. But when I went to do something, I hit the bowl with the egg in it and the egg fell. So okay. I'm already in the kitchen, got the griddle going, so I couldn't dip it in the egg. So uh -huh. I went a different way real quick and still cooked. So no, it wasn't dirty food, but the ingredients <laughs> I was using, I did drop and it did fall and made a mess everywhere. But at that point, you just got to keep on going. <laughs> right. Okay. And um, another one is, uh, did you fix the fuse when you ran out of propane during a cook? That was my regulator. Regulator. Yes. Okay. I, uh, I replaced the regulator. I actually took the regulator. Actually, I was tuning in that night. I was, I was actually watching that night. <laughs> I yeah. took the regulator off one of my old 36 inches. Yeah. Right. And put it on. <laughs> that was a pain. That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. And since you're gearing towards the cooking community and uh, trying to get your, your, um, get, get better acquainted with, with uh, folks in the, in the community. Um, how did you meet Mike McCourt and what was your first crazy cook together? <laughs> okay. So, all right, let me put the drink down for this one. So, um, <laughs> he's peddling bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I actually, uh, mm. I, just, I, I, I just started doing Blackstone, just got on Blackstone Life, um, was posting a lot, and I was going home to visit my parents. And I was actually going to replace their pool because um, they they have a, a big old above ground pool that had holes in it. And my dad ordered a new one. I told him I'd come up and fix it. So I put a post on my Facebook page. And I was like, hey, I'm going to be home. So all my friends are back home. Most of my friends are back home. And I'm like, I'll be home. If anyone wants to come help me swap this pool out, I'm doing it these two days. Come help. Mm -hmm. like, the court was like, all right, I'll come help. Now, I've talked to him a handful of times at, the, at this point, never met him, and he was just like, I'll come help. You know, I don't live far away. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, never met this dude, but he's just going to come help. And I was just like, wow. So, uh, yeah, he, he came, drove over, um, and helped me out with my parents' pool. We got it done. It was awesome. Um, again, thank you, Mike. <laughs> then we did a cook. He brought um, some pork that he had he had smoked, and we mm -hmm. did pork quesadillas. And then we made a salad on the Blackstone. Yeah, an actual salad. Yeah, seasoned, charred. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. You took like the whole uh, heart of romaine. The whole heart of romaine, put it on there, and just... yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I also have that video on my YouTube if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, awesome yeah. video, great time. Right. Great yeah, time. yeah, that that was that was uh that was a, a shocker. Is he putting lettuce on the black? Yeah, he put <laughs> lettuce on the black stone. <laughs> you know, I didn't believe it either until I saw it. And he's like, let's just make a salad. And I'm like, okay, can you do that? He's like, yeah, watch. I'm like, oh, you sure can. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good. It was really good. 
Right, yeah. right. Yes, awesome. yes. So, so uh, Mike, Mike, and Mike and his family saved the day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I also met Christina when when Mike came because Mike brought Christina, and it was it, it was just a great time. Um, great people, great people. Mm-hmm. I I love love Mike to death, and oh, I yeah. will uh, for sure be cooking with him again real soon. So get down here, Mike. Let's cook. Yeah, that is true. Smoking Dave, there isn't um, there isn't much a Blackstone can't handle. And then when somebody says you can't do it, we're gonna find a way, for sure. Yeah. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, we didn't speak about the word, man. The word. What's your word? Your favorite word? <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal, man. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> that Schmidt is phenomenal. <laughs> I forgot all about it, man. I had it written down too. And totally slipped right past the radar on that one. Phenomenal. That's hilarious. Every cookie cooks is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Love it. I got it <laughs> in my logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's good great. old Kent. What's up, brother? Daddy Dutch Barbecue. I got the second. <laughs> best beard on the screen yes i know i know beard envy over here he makes mine look like a mr t starter kit you know what i mean (laughs) jesus but uh so one more um which is really cool and i couldn't find it and i'm really upset that i couldn't find it uh you're in a commercial you are in a blackstone commercial infomercial i am yes you haven't seen it yet? Huh? Are you serious? You're being what? serious with me? Totally not. Are you are you're not joking with me? I'm totally joking with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like, <laughs> how do you not know you're in a dang commercial, man? <laughs> yeah, that uh wow, that surprised <laughs> me. Like there, there, there's a few of us in, in, in a commercial and it wow that that meant a lot that meant a lot um and just just to be on the same commercial as these other guys that are you know way bigger than me i mean i'm mm-hmm. i'm a minnow in the ocean mm-hmm. and i got these you know sharks out here killing it and for yeah. me to be on there oh it, it, it was a huge huge like oh, oh see i wish i could oh, find it awesome. Yeah, I wish I could find it and so we could watch it right here, right now. Uh, where would I where would I go, you know? Or you got well, it? Can you find I, it? I do and can. You you remember how to share screen, right? Yep. Dude. I downloaded those bad boys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Jess Jess says the commercial's awesome. Uh Rob over at Mr. Homeowner Cooking and DIY saying great show, guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh uh, yeah, thank thank you for sure. We try, we try. Hanging out, having a good old time. And good see, that's, a, you, that's you, another you. thing I like about my lives is yeah, I can make a video, edit it, you know, post it and whatnot, and get it some thumbs up and this and that. Mm. But I like to go live because I like hanging out, you know. I've met so many people all my lives, right? And I chit chat with them, learn them, you know, things like that. And so my lives, I, I, I cherish my lives. My lives, I love my lives. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm trying to get at here with the with the hot seat and getting back to everybody having fun together. You know, let's let's all let's all the different people. Of, we all cook, period. Whether whether it's on a Blackstone or or gas grill to a smoker to an air fryer, which we have some air fryer fans out there. You know what I mean? Um, Booger five hundred. This lady, everything she does is in an air fryer, and I tell you what, she's got some awesome stuff. So. I watched Jess do a live cook tonight, mm-hmm. and she did a meatloaf in the air fryer. Yes, yes. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to try that. So uh, it's like two things. Now I got to try hers. It's just, there's so much you can do. It's just trying to keep up is the hard part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. It's yeah, cheap. where is Griddle Richie? I know you say that he was going to try to pop in. But it's cool, you know what I mean? Or a crock pot. Hey, crock pot, a stove. I wish I had an oven. There's so many. St there's so much stuff, like my side dishes, that I used to cook in the oven. Uh, you know? Um, right. Because of portion-wise, you know? Yeah. The in the pyrex and stuff like that where you're not gonna you're not actually not gonna fit that in an uh, air fryer you know what i mean true so, yeah. true it's like i've been looking for um those um i've been looking and, for those uh all those asparagus for fire mm -hmm. yeah but yeah. i've been looking for those uh, dishes those um yeah. cat iron like mm -hmm. oval shaped dishes that fit in the air fryer yeah, I've been looking for those. I found some white ones. That's what yeah. I did my my asparagus in. They worked yeah. really well, really well. Right. Yeah. Um. Uh. What you call it, uh, Mike? Uh, he has that set of Blackstone cast cast iron dishes. Yes, that's and what he's, I'm trying he's to find. Done, he's like done that. a lot of stuff. He's done a lot of stuff with his, and he's actually done meatloaf in his uh, air fryer too. I believe somebody he, else did. He did the the Wellington in the air fryer. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that. Yep. Air fryer king, right there. I don't care. Yeah, maybe I will make a trip out to Tractor Supply and see if they got that new model. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell Mrs. Lap though. <laughs> I ain't got no room, man. I need a new garage. Mm. That's funny. Hey, um. Maria wants to know what your uh, least favorite food and dish to cook. What? What are? That's what, where's, you know what I mean. What? What do you? Somebody in the household likes it, mm -hmm. but you yeah. don't like making it. Got it. I guarantee you, she's laughing right now on the couch up at the house. I guarantee it. <laughs> aren't you? You are, aren't you? Yes, you are. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like making stew. I don't like making pot roast. Mm -hmm. That is Trisha's thing to make. She loves stew. She loves pot roast. She makes that. I don't like making them. Mm -hmm. I don't. No. My mine is anything with mushroom. Mrs. Oh, Lep, I love Mrs. 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 Lep loves mushroom. I don't. But I sometimes I'll be like, I'll do it because you want it, and I'll sacrifice picking through. <laughs> so I leave the mushrooms big as I could sit so I could see them. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's funny. Mm. I am trying to find them. So I know I have to. Lab is not a fun guy. <laughs> Uh, your buddy, uh, our buddy John, tried the oh. salmon. Oh yeah, I saw pictures on Facebook about that. Yeah, it, it looked really good. It looked really yeah. good. Hey, maybe you guys need to do like a newlywed special. Uh, how much you know about each other, huh? <laughs> I thought I could have swore I had these. Yeah. Right. On my card. No, it's on the phone. I'm looking in the wrong folder. No wonder I can't find it. Uh, I actually, I just got Mrs. Le ordered Mrs. Lep a small mushroom pizza today, just for herself, a little personal one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Bear with That's us, guys. Found it. Yeah. That was, yeah, that's the one from TikTok. That'll work. Let's see. It's this one here. Since I got the Blackstone. And when we so, it. so would me and Mrs. Lep. Well, 
I'd, I'd like to think we'd do good, but we'd probably totally be on different opposite side of each other. All right. So let's see. We're going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to uh, click that little audio box in the, in the left hand corner, bottom, bottom left hand. Little Let me tiny box, share audio. Um, I got share screen. Yep. And Chrome, Chrome tab. You see the Chrome? You, know, you should be able to click on whatever content share you want. Share audio, gotcha. Yeah. Boom. And then we'll go share. Mm hmm There it is. Got the Blackstone griddle. I have been griddling on this thing Literally with me every day. day. Every Everything you want. Look at this cookie service. service. It's, it's so, so versatile. versatile. The, the sky is the limit of this thing. Case of the videos. Smash burgers. Some chicken, some steak, some tortillas, taru burgers, hot dogs, egg rolls. We have loved using this griddle every single day. I heard phenomenal. I heard phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That was yeah. Good. That was a good one, man. So how did that come about? Who reached out to who? Um, It was actually the, I don't remember the name of the company, but they're an advertising company for Blackstone. And they had put a post up on Facebook. That would be uh -oh. Silver Stag. Was it Silver Stag? I don't think so. Not 100% sure. But uh, they put a, um, on, uh, a thing on Facebook. So I, re I replied. And they were like, oh, yeah, we'll check you out. And they came back and wanted to use a couple of my videos. And, oh, there he is. What's up? There he bro? is. And then, um, so Blue I was like. water. Yes. Blue water. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, Mike. Mike, look at it. He's just clutch, dude. He's, he's on clutch. it. He's on it. He's, he's clutch. He's always on point. Yes, for sure. And yeah, so they man. ended up using um, a video I sent them, and it was super so cool. So they chopped and edited that yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. So you just send them a video. Boom. They take what they want. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. You're so they mixed it in with everyone else's and made that yeah. one last commercial. And yeah. yeah, it was, it was cool. So it, it was and nice. Now, to get and now you're famous. I don't know about famous, but. <laughs> well, let's just say I've been at it six years, man. <laughs> you're at it one year and you already got a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Nowhere near famous am I. <laughs> but I, I enjoy it and I love it. So I, I can't complain. Can't complain. Right. Right. So is there anything we missed? Anything you want to say? Uh, address the crowd, promote anything you got to, you know what I mean? Shout out. Cooking with the Schmidt. Oh, Cooking that's with, me. Yeah. Uh, actually, one of my mods has been dropping your instagram facebook and your youtube so, oh sweet. yes yes yeah i yep. appreciate that thank you yeah, very much that's steve that's uh cooking with steven and jacqueline uh nice. all the way from trinidad tobago oh sweet. Tobago. yeah hey it's crazy uh uncle steve shake uh sent him a package and i think it took like uh two three months to get there during, oh, wow. the COVID, during the COVID, yeah, man, right. pretty crazy. Oh, wow, pretty crazy. Yeah, insane. That's insane. That's super cool. All right, so I got what? I got one more. Okay. 
Let's see if we can go here. Oh, Griddle Richie, tell me about it. You know how many takes I did for my video? Yeah. How many? I'd have to go back and look because I, I saved them all. <laughs> so, 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 okay. So you had how many takes, X amount of takes, whatever. So did you keep cooking the same thing over and over? Yeah. Yeah. So what'd you do with the food? I got stuffed. <laughs> You ate it all. <laughs> well, not all of them. I gave some to Trish. My my buddy Edwin that was videotaping me, he had some and took some to lunch and <laughs> McGriddles for the week. It was Schmidt Schmidt Griddle Schmidt Griddles for the week. <laughs> McGriddles, yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. But uh, no, so like when I'm cooking, like when I was cooking the sausage, I would you know. Throw it down, say something. But, oh, I don't like that. Say it again. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Say it again. Oh, that one works. Right. And then we just take that. You know, I think I only cooked eight McGriddles for the whole oh, thing. That ain't bad. That yeah, ain't bad. It, it, it wasn't too bad. It was just trying to get the the wording right and everything out right. <laughs> but uh, I got the other one here somewhere. What's up, Jane? What's up, T Dub? Brother and sister from another mother and another sister. Yay. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, uh so everybody wants to do sticker swaps. I, I had just got in <clears throat> a, a batch myself. Um uh, I'm gonna do my best to get them out. Hit me up. I got stickers, we can sticker swap. Yeah, I, I, the only thing is, is I only get fifty at a at a time. So those go quick, man. It seems well, now, like. now you only have forty nine. Well, I was already giving them away on my, my last gig. I was passing them out, and the kids were taking them and putting them on their shirts. And I'm like, oh, they weren't a waste of a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> like go put it on your bicycle or something. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, yeah. So, wait, well, hey, man, to my little nieces and nephews, I couldn't. What's up, Alex? I know I seen you earlier. I don't know if I said hi. Uh, the other commercial is better, Mike says. The other commercial, mm hmm. Okay, yes, that see which commercial, uh. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, that's all he said. What's up, Bobby? Yeah, I got people on back order, like four years back order for stickers. Because I did have these bumper stickers at one time, but I ended up giving them out to everybody that drives around Cleveland trying to get people to bite on my my vision. Uh, it didn't go over so well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, yeah, uh, what you call it? Uh, Mr. Homeowner did have a question. What was that? Uh, your first job, what do you drive in Speedos or shorts? <laughs> All right. So first job was Burger King for 11 years. Yes. And let me tell you, they had a griddle to cook their eggs on when I started working there. Yeah. So they got I've been, rid of it. I've been griddling for years. <laughs> they got rid of it. Yeah, they, they they don't use them no more. Now it's uh they got like an oven and they put them in the oven and cook them in the oven. Okay. Um, oh, little. So so uh, let's piggyback off of that before we jump off of that. Uh, yeah. Little backstory behind the wife and the and the in laws and 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 your mm. family with Burger King. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so, yeah, Burger, <laughs> Burger King goes way back, way back. Um, like my parents met Trisha's parents at Burger King. They, they they all worked at Burger King. Everybody was you know bosses and firing me all the time, and so we we all worked there. We we all worked there, and it's just been you know it was it was great. It was a fun time learning and stuff. And uh, then one would drop out. Then the next one would drop out, and then a, so then a, there was only one left, and then she finally left, and now it's Bird King is just been you know a big part of our family. 
she said, don't you say it. This is the hot seat. This is what we're all about. This is the hot seat. We're grilling them. <laughs> yes, Trish used to work at Burger King, too. <laughs> so, so read between the lines, guys. <laughs> there was something on the griddle a long time ago. There was something sizzling there. <laughs> it's still Man. sizzling. How many years later? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. How many, how many years later? Um, so I I mean I started working at Burger King when I was 14. For you and Trish, man. For you and Oh Trish. shoot, me and Trish, we are working on 15 years now. Still sizzling, guys, 15 years later. Yep, yep. She still kicks my butt and tells me what to do, and I do it. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I had to make sure I could go to bed tonight or else I'd be right there. Right. <laughs> Hope you brought a blankie. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's funny. I'm trying to find the other video. What the fuck? Uh, that? The one Mike was talking about or yeah. the one you were talking about? Well, I think me and Mike were talking about the same one. Okay. Okay. Cool, but <laughs> oh, Mike says you got busted in the walk in cooler. <laughs> My mother in law's on here. <laughs> hey, I just I need to know something then. Did, did you know Digital Underground is that they made that song off of you, huh? <laughs> Once did it in a Burger King bathroom. <laughs> What's the thing that you every single day not get tired of? Uh, Where'd it go? Stop it. There it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is why it's called the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. This is great. I love it. Uh, Hobo's in the house. What up, fam? What up, what up? I think I found it. I thought I found it. Just don't you do it. Maybe I didn't find it. Of course, it's going to play as soon as I stop it. Yeah. Oh, we got Ken in the house. What's up, Ken? <laughs> There it is. I found it. So we'll come back here. We'll hit share. Mm -hmm. Screen. Share screen. Who's going to bed? Who's going to bed? Audio. Oh, Joey. What's up, bro? I'll see you. Do it like Talk that. to you in the morning. See you in the morning. She in the morning. Are we ready to go? Did I get it up? Yep. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other one. What's up? We got Ben, ben uh, rambling in the house. I don't even want to know what, uh, what, what Mama's talking about over here. <laughs> My buddy Ken, Redneck Connection, says uh, now he wants an Egg McMuffin. It's called a Schmidt Griddle. Schmidt Griddle, that's right. Schmidt Griddle. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, David? How you doing? Super cool. Yeah. Uh, I seen something. Loader Man and Teeny. Oh, Ben's rambling. 
What is up, Ben? How you doing, man? Hope all is well. Yeah, yeah so that's um the, that's the one Mike was talking about. Grumpus is in the house. What's up, Grumpus? Skip. Rick specialties. He's a black stoner, man. He's got he's got some videos too. Scott says, uh, I've literally watched both of these videos on Facebook several times over the past week. I had no, I had no, no offense, uh, and it disappeared. No clue who everyone was in the promo. That's awesome. Yeah, so you got the wall, Trent, wall twins, you got yep. Hungry Hussy cooking with the Schmidt. And who else? That's all I seen. Uh, I believe Rich is in there. Oh, Griddle Richie. Griddle yeah. Richie. Yeah. Um, I, I, I brain fart on the. I, I didn't see faces, so it was. Yeah, it was yeah. A lot of, a lot of. They cut out a lot of the faces. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So what nights do you go live, or is it just random? I try and go live Friday nights. Friday nights? I try and go live Friday nights. Um, okay. Just because Friday is my day to come home. Week is done. Mm -hmm. I do what I do that you know relaxes me from the week, and that's actually cooking. And yeah, yeah, griddle juice. That's you get to hammer the juice. <laughs> So yeah, Friday nights are, are my big nights on what I like when I like like to go live. Mm -hmm. Sometimes weather permitting, or if I have to work late, I might not get to. So I'll go live over the weekend some sometime. But I try and do it every Friday. Yeah, like tomorrow I'm going live, and I got I got a little little cook I'm gonna do. Yeah, I stole it. Yes. Have you figured it out how to get it over to YouTube and Facebook, or are we we just watching Facebook tomorrow? I'm just I'm just going Facebook tomorrow. Facebook tomorrow. So yeah. guys, uh, don't forget to click that link for his Facebook. It'll actually be on um, Blackstone Life. Oh, okay. Um, so for those that are not part of Blackstone Life Facebook group, um, look it up. Uh, can my mod drop? A link in there and uh we'll go from there you have to ask and and or you have to be accepted and it's a private group um but we have great time over there and uh i Thank tell you, you what we we got so <laughs> many ideas bouncing off of each other that's what's awesome i have not done the popcorn yet i didn't jump on that bandwagon uh I really made pop popcorn. Yeah, I'm not really a popcorn fan. You know what I mean? I, I probably should have did it for a video. Uh, but you know what I mean? I didn't. So there's another gr uh, uh, griddle recipe that went flying past me. <laughs> when, I so to, <laughs> when I went to Tennessee, um, I took my 22-inch uh, Adventure Ready with me. Mm -hmm. And I, I did popcorn. I did, you know, put the butter down and the and the corn and the and then with the lid and the heat and the pop pop and burnt, mm -hmm. <laughs> burnt it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people burning it, and and I'm I'm super super OCD, so I see one burn spot, I would I would have tossed it all, right. <laughs> Yeah, man. Why not? Grumpus is awesome, man. We love Grumpus. But uh, yeah, what's up, Everett Barbecue? Uh, Everett Barbecue was who did all the cooking for that Keith Fest that we went to. Oh, <gasps> oh excuse me. Uh, in uh, Indiana, he did uh, brisket Friday, pork belly, chicken wings. And ribs Saturday, and uh, we all recouped Sunday. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he said he had a team sriracha. 
Uh, but yeah, um, so anything else you want to promote? Anything like that? Nah, I mean, just positivity. Yeah, for sure. Positivity. Yeah. And a, a thing that I, I say a lot in my videos when I'm cooking, because I get a lot of people say, oh, you know, that's the wrong way. Now, no, no, it's not the right way. It's not the wrong way. It's your way. Yes. So it's, you know, you try. If it doesn't work, you try it a different way. Right. It's, you know, so just keep cooking. Because my, my motto, entertain, educate, motivate. Right. Those are, those are mine. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just, you know, love cooking and... For tomorrow we're going live it's gonna be fun we're hanging yeah. out yes yeah. yeah so uh everybody hit them links and get over yeah, and get in Braxton yeah. life and uh you know for us like griddlers you know what i mean um we we love anybody and everybody that that's yeah. a family and yeah. uh so so is so is the hot seeders you know what i mean these hot seeders there's there's some OGs in there that's been been around since day one. You know the show's been around uh, six six ish years now. Oh nice. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, we uh we're always uh, building relationships, having fun with one another, uh, always bouncing recipes off of each other, man. You know what I mean? Uh, one one little one little ingredient can change a whole. Oh yeah, recipe. So. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it can totally change it, make it way better. Mm -hmm. It can totally change it and make it to where you have to make it again. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's trial and error. It's trial and error. You learn, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's great. Love so, cooking. Yes, right. Now th that's that's what brings us all together. You know what I mean? A uh, little bit of fire. Hey, yeah. Marcel. <laughs> That's fine. I know you got taco night with the little one. Where's mine, though? <laughs> but I just dropped the link for those that want to join the after party. Uh, we're going to shut this one down. We went for 45 minutes-ish. So uh, we appreciate everybody coming out. Um, oh, the after party. Yeah. I love you guys. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, Schmidt here appreciates oh, everybody and, and I appreciate and, all uh, of you. I thank you for yeah, coming. Yeah. I had a blast here. I had a blast. And like I said, um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up, message me. Yeah. I'm any any of I'm any of us griddler. So yeah, if, if you we, ask a question and we missed it, yeah. Hit me up. We we've uh we've encouraged a lot of people to uh uh get griddles and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So if you have any new griddle questions or anything like that, uh, hit any of us up. And there's tons of us in this chat right now, and there's tons of us uh, over on Facebook, uh, Instagram. We're we're all over the place. Let's just say that. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But uh, yeah, uh, coast to coast griddlers. <laughs> yeah, ah. coast, coast to coast griddlers, man. That's it, man. That's that that hashtag is going to be fire this summer. Yeah, yeah fire for sure so. for sure they did a good uh, job with that one but uh yeah i see you guys in the basement um i'm gonna drop the link one more time and we are going to say goodbye to the people thanks and, guys for uh, out watching um i appreciate you all um and cook on cheers my man cheers ting Uh, that was the link, Cody. Try it again before I get out of here. Uh, I see Dave and Carla in the basement. One second, guys. I see you. Does it just jump it, over? It's saying it's not the link. It should be the link. Copied. Yeah, because I had other people get in there. Thank you, Marcel. Enjoy your guys' tacos. Wish I had some right now. 
I get some. I had pizza. Yeah. Do we just transfer with it, or do we need to hit uh, that? Like you just stay right where you're at, and uh, I'm not moving then. That's the Streamyard link. Yes, and that's where we're going. We're going on my channel. Off air though. We're not going over to somebody else's uh, channel. We're gonna stick right here. So uh, click on Smoking Dave. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, you know, same time, same place, same that channel week, with a with a new guest. And we'll see who it is. One more ding ding. Boom done. Done. That's all we had to say, brother. John, you are the man. You are the man, John. And with that, guys, Schmidt and myself, we are out of here. Thanks for joining. Chat rock tonight. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys next week. And, of course, it never ends when you never won.